Well, hello, my beautifully blessed people, and welcome back. Today's message is for men who are experiencing women in their lives, wives who are nagging and quarrelsome. And many of you men are experiencing a great deal of this treatment. And many of you wives are doing that on purpose. Some of you who are doing it on purpose is to nag him enough just so that you can have your way. And it doesn't make sense. Men, you should be sick and tired of being sick and tired of going through that. And if you are not tired, eventually you're going to be tired of it. Let me give some scriptures as to what the, the scriptures say about a nagging and quarrelsome wife. First one, Proverbs 14, chapter, verse 1. A wise woman builds, builds her house, but with her own hands, the foolish one, she tears it down. Meaning, a wise woman builds her house, and a foolish woman, she tears it down. Proverbs 12, chapter, verse 4. A wife of noble character is her husband's crown, but a disgraceful wife is is like decay in his bones. Proverbs 11 chapter verse 22. Like a gold ring in a pig's snout is a beautiful woman who shows no discretion. And the final scripture, Proverbs 27 chapter verses 15 and 16. Verse 15, a quarrelsome wife is like the dripping of a leaky roof in a rainstorm. 16. Restraining her is like restraining the wind or grasping oil with the hand, meaning she can't be controlled. She's out of control. And there are many women out here who are faking their feelings toward you men, and they're using nagging to get their way so that you won't see the deception Many of them are not only faking how they feel, they're faking their love for you, and they're even going as far as faking their sex with you. And you guys, you just take it. Well, it's time for you to stop taking it. And it's time for you to take a stand in your relationship. These women are out of control. They have the heart of a vulture. They are callous. They are disrespectful. They are disgraceful. They have these cantankerous attitudes and behavioral patterns. And you all should be sick and tired of being sick and tired of that. And for the women who are doing men this way, there's a message specifically for you. The God of Elijah is going to answer you by fire. Because these men that you are hurting and that you are sending through all this pain, just know God is not going to be silent in their lives. So you better be getting yourself prepared if you continue to behave this way in this man's life. You've been deceitful. You are lying to him. You're creating false truths. You're manipulating the situation. And you don't care. Knowing that you accepted this man's hand in marriage for a marriage of convenience, and there was no love there in the first place. You are going to have to answer for that. Men, listen to me. Do not allow this to go on any further. Get on your knees and pray. And ask God to help you through this situation. Because there is a lot of evil in the world. And sometimes many of you, you fail to overlook the evil. When the evil is sitting right there at your kitchen table, right there in your house, lying right next to you. And it's high time now for you to rebuke that thing, rebuke those evil spirits. These are demonic forces that are coming against you to keep you from having the things that you need to have to try to sidetrack you and distract you from doing the things that God would have you to do, not just for yourself, but to help other people. Because you all have a gift and you are allowing yourselves to be distracted by these evil women, better known as Jezebels. 
And I'm encouraging you to pray, even pray for her. Pray that God will transform her mind and her heart. Pray that she will turn from her wicked ways and that God will give you the strength to not be submissive to her evilness. Because if you don't, it's going to change you and cause you to become just like her. It is called a transference of spirits. So stay clear of the nagging and the quarrelsome. I don't care if you have to go and get by yourself in private and pray. I don't care. But you have the power and the authority to put a stop to it through prayer. And that's all I have to say. God bless you and keep watchful and guard your gates and trust in God.